Hello everyone, this is Susan from the 2015 Ice Resin Design Team and I'm back in my studio working like a crazy person because I have a show this weekend, but I wanted to stop for a minute and just talk a little bit about a tip from my current project, which is a winter's tail. It's a little flowery thing, which I will show you. But Ice Resin doubles not only as your primary resin for jewelry making, but I used it this time around to do some collage work. And it really works as a fabulous adhesive, a glue. Uh, I never waste anything because I have a little bit left over. I take a toothpick and I use it to adhere all kinds of jewelry findings and supplies together that I leave on my desk um, so that I never waste any resin. But here's a little video to show you how I collaged paper to tin can. Uh, and it may spark some other really wonderful ideas for all of you because you can use it in all kinds of collage. So here we go, take a peek. So I mixed up two ounces of ice, which I would never do except that I have all these papers. The prompt is a winter's tail. And I spent a little bit of time cutting up some normal soda, ca soda cans. So this is a recycling project. I also scanned Shakespeare's The Winter's Tale uh, out of a book, and these are for me personally, so I'm not too worried about copyright, but you can't do it to just everything, so you want to check on your material before you do something like this. It's not something I'm going to sell. Uh, and then I have several, so I need quite a bit of resin because I'm going to collage the paper product to the back side of these soda cans that I cut up. So, let me move some of these aside and I'll show you how to do one. Um, and these are totally handy little gizmos, especially when you're doing this much collage work. So I'm just going to start, I'm going to put spread a little bit, and actually, you know what, just to keep time as a factor, I'm going to pour a little bit out. Now my room is about 70 degrees, 75 degrees, so it's kind of per perfect temp to manage a couple of ounces of ice resin, but you do want to work fairly quickly. You've got, you know, 30 to 45 minutes worth of time. But you can see I'm just, I'm spreading that on the back of the soda can, and I did cut these, not to size, but just sort of by eyesight. I'm going to lay this on top, just give it a good go and then I think I'll just do this again because it makes it a little bit simpler pour some out and I'm, I'm giving these a good coat I want all the paper to really adhere to that soda can back and forth now you could use your vintage dictionary pages to do this which I think would be very very cool you could use vintage book pages or old maps and it will all, when this is dry, ice resin works as a fabulous epoxy. And this will all be one piece. So there's one way I am recycling some soda cans. Thanks so much for taking a look at this ice resin tip. And don't forget about the iceresin.com site. There are thousands of ideas over there. So we'll see you next time.